I'm Mr. Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how to do product research for eBay dropshipping and I have it broken down into 10 main steps that I follow also I'm going to show you how to use a calculator that I created which is available online um, in order to calculate the profit for the, your item and I'll also show you how I use a Google sheet to keep track of the items that I research and I'll even show you another Excel sheet uh, that I have for when you're ready to list your products now to start off the first step is to actually think of a product or a category of product that you want to research alright uh, if you know the exact product you can type that in but if you don't know exactly what you're looking for um, you can try a general category as well for instance pancake mix alright just something I thought of right and when I search pancake mix I get 1285 results alright so that is my second step to search pancake mix now the next step is to actually filter out the results alright to make them to filter down the results to be more dropship and friendly I'll show you what I mean to do that I'm going to use the advanced search okay now I do have the options down here but when you click them the page jumps up and down it's better to go to advanced search all right, where you can do everything in one screen without going up and down. Okay, you have pancake mix, then you have search including. All right, um, what you want to do here is to click on sold listings. Okay, because you want to see the items that have already sold that have had success, it's more likely for you to have success. Then you have the buying formats, auction, buy it now. If you're drop shipping, you're not going to be doing auction, right? You're most likely going to be doing buy it now so you can narrow down to buy it now listings right also the condition usually drop shipping we in drop shipping we sell new items so you can select new for the condition right um, you have some other things here uh, then you have shipping options ordinarily it's suggested to do free shipping I'm gonna go ahead and narrow down to the free shipping items as well and then you have the location okay so if you're in the US you might prefer to see other US sellers and see what they're doing especially if since most of them are selling to US buyers so they're kinda like your direct competitors alright so you wanna look at people in your location alright sellers in your location and once you've done that you can go all the way to the bottom you've completed the search click on the search button alright and you will see the filters have been applied new free shipping US only sold listings and you see the results have been cut down to 266 now um, you have this item at the top and you have lots of other items as you scroll down okay you can just kind of scroll down look around look at the different prices look at the images and what you're really looking for here is you're looking to see the uh, four images with stock photos which means that they're most likely drop shipped okay images with this kind of white background I'm gonna go ahead and go with this first item that came up and open it up and see what I have there when I open this item alright I can see that one sold in the last 24 hours I see that it's 1395 okay and two have sold so what I'm going to do is take a look at this price and then I'm going to look at the number sold and click on it alright once you click on it you'll actually see the dates that the item sold all right and this is really important because we want to see recent dates right I want to see February 22nd okay because today is the 23rd of February right but I just want to see recent dates I just want to see that it has sold recently right um, now there might be some reasons why something hasn't or why a particular listing hasn't sold recently could be that the seller stopped selling it so but this generally gives gives us an idea right if we see recent sales we know that it's selling right now um, so this is an item that I might want to look into further in this case and so what I'm going to do is try to find the source of this item okay I want to find find out where this item is actually coming from so now I'm going to go back okay to the item and the reason why I did that is because I want to Google this image so I'm going to right click on the image search Google for image if you're not able to do that you can also do the title okay and you can try 
searching Google for the title. I find both to be pretty much equally effective, all right? So I'll do Google Image. But Google Image is good just in case the title has been changed a lot. All right, so um, here are some different results, all right, that come up. And so you're going to see, you know, different results from different places. I'm going to go ahead and just go straight to Amazon because it's predictable, which is good for the purpose of this video. All right, but if you want to look into more suppliers, you can take your time doing so. Now, um, I'm going to look at this item, and the main thing I have my eye on is first of all, I want to make sure it's the same item, right? So I'm going to compare back and forth. I can clearly see that this is the same item. And um, aside from that, I want to take a look at this price, okay? Um, it's $9.99. If you have Amazon Prime, it would be free shipping. I'm going to assume that you're selling this with free shipping, let's say, right? Okay, now, the thing to do at this point is to calculate whether or not this item is profitable if I sell it at this price and that is where this tool comes in which I created for eBay drop shipping okay now there are other eBay profit calculators available online that I've seen um, but I actually made this one myself when I was uh, when I first started um, eBay drop shipping and I made it specifically for drop shipping all right for eBay drop shipping Okay, now you can, um, I'll give you the link to it, and you can use Control Plus to zoom it up if you want to see it a little closer. Okay, and the first thing you do is you'll put in the retail price from the supplier, okay, to calculate the supplier cost. It is $9.99 at Amazon, and we're selling one, okay, at a time. All right, in other words, this is just one, okay? If this was a two-pack like this, then I would have to say that I'm selling two of them right to calculate the cost of two but since it's only one you put one unit right here's the subtotal 999 okay now for the percent tax okay if you expect to pay tax you come up with a number that you think is about the average tax okay I'm gonna go ahead and put seven percent alright that's gonna be the average percent tax that I expect to pay on average it calculates the tax for me and then I'm gonna leave the shipping blank okay as free shipping so here I have an average total cost of ten dollars and sixty nine cents okay if you get cash back you can fill these out as well I'm going to leave it blank for the moment and come back to it um, now we have to look at the fees because the fees are going to determine your break-even right so are you paying a 10 percent eBay fee or are you paying 9.15 percent okay it depends whether you have a store subscription or not I'm going to go ahead and work with the 10 percent uh, final value fee all right, and I'm gonna leave boost fee out. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone for now, and I'm just gonna look at PayPal fees. Okay, final value fees. Okay, these won't calculate until I come up with the price. But the main thing is I need to know what my final value fee is, so that down here it can calculate for me the break even. So my break even is 1262. Okay, hold that right. Keep that in mind. Go back to eBay and see that the item is selling for. Thirteen dollars and ninety-five cents, which is more than my break-even of twelve sixty-two, which is a good thing because it means that I can make a profit. I want to be above my break-even. I don't want to be below. So I'm going to put the price from eBay in here. It's thirteen dollars and ninety-five cents, and I want to see how much profit I would make if I sold this exact item at his price, and I'm going to make one dollar and sixteen cents. Here's my profit margin which is your profit percent of the sale price and here's my markup which is your profits percentage of the cost of the item right your return on investment alright so um, here we have it you're gonna make a dollar and sixteen cents not so bad considering that the item is a low price item okay then you're going to say well let's say I've got a cashback card okay you've got five percent let's say if you have like an Amazon Prime cashback uh, credit card or something or a discounted card or whatever right that's five percent cash back that will inc it will actually calculate the cash back for you okay the cash back card percent um, is a percentage of your total cost right whatever you charge your credit card gives you back a percentage on it okay we I also have cash back site percent okay and cash back sites what they do is they give you a percentage of your subtotal 
So if you're going to get any kind of cash back through a site, let's just say you were going to get 2%, right? It's going to calculate 2% of the subtotal, 2% of uh, 999, which is about 20 cents. And so it's going to, you know, multiply that and give you the 20 cents cash back here for the cash back site, 53 for the cents for the card. And then it's going to total that up and tell you your total cash back at the bottom. So this is extra cash back which is extra profit, right? So now your profit increases to $1.90, okay? Because it's the initial profit you had, right? Added with this total cash back. Okay, so you determine that the item can be profitable at its going price, all right? So at this point, you may decide whether or not to list the item. Um, but even before I get to that, um, let's say you're just doing research. You're not ready to list. You just want to do research it's a good idea to have a Google Sheet okay where you can actually keep track of the things you're researching so what I would do here is I would put the date okay the date is very important to know when you did the research okay to know um, how recent your results are okay, I'm gonna open this back up and what I would do is copy the name of the item right the actual product name is good to have um, also a link so you can get back to the item easily so you'll copy the URL up here okay you'll come over here paste it where it's under paste it under link okay um, the price is 1395 okay uh, it's sold two so far and I don't remember the last sold date. I think it was yesterday um, it was uh, yes the 22nd okay so I'll go back over here and I'll type February 22nd was the last sold date. And if you found the source of the item, which we did, here's the source, right, from the supplier. You're going to go to the supplier, take that link, that source, and copy that as well. Okay, come back to the spreadsheet and paste the source. So now you know where the item, what the item is called. You know how to get back to it on eBay. All right, you have the price, the number sold all of this and you know where to get it from a supplier right and you have that stored okay and what you could do from here is you could continue researching if you wish and to keep getting more results and to put a few more products in here now um, another thing I like to throw in a little bonus here is a Google sheet for when you're actually ready to list products okay I have a Google sheet um, that I worked on for you and okay so yes here it is so when you're actually ready to list your product okay you'll go ahead and list it using whatever method you use to list products and then you'll keep a record of it okay you'll put the date alright I won't actually do it but I'll just mention how this works right you put the supplier where it's coming from okay the category you can copy and paste the product you can get the item number from your supplier okay the variation like if it's red or blue or different sizes okay a link back to the item can go in here the price at that time the number of units because what this is going to do is the same thing that you just put in the calculator um, the reason I would put this in here is so that you can reprice the item right you can come back later um, change the price now you might be using repricing software um, if you're using repricing software then I would say you don't really need to actually put these prices in here and to calculate the cost and do the cash back again um, but if you're not using software for this item or if you're not using any software at all to reprice then you'd want to put the price of the item in here okay I'll go ahead and put the price that we had I think it was 9.99 right for units so it can calculate the subtotal you'd want to go ahead and fill this in so that when you check your item and you come back to it you can put a new price when the price changes and you can calculate a new a new price okay for yourself right I'm just gonna temporarily skip this cash back and just show you what's over here okay I have a repricing section where you put the eBay fee it calculates the break even just like my calculator did alright you're gonna put your price that you want to charge here I think it was let's say it was 1395 I think it was alright <clears throat> if you're gonna charge shipping for the buyer we usually don't this will calculate your eBay fee for you. All right, it'll calculate the PayPal fee. Okay, it'll then get the total fees. Okay, it's going to take your payment. Okay, what you're going to get paid, which is the whatever you charge over here. 
Okay, so it's going to do a profit summary. Okay, it's going to show uh, what you're going to get paid after you take the fees out, the total fees out. Okay, it's going to then show you your supplier cost and subtract that supplier cost to give you your upfront front end profit. Then, if you have cash back, it's going to show you your cash back calculation too, and then show show you your total profit. Okay, so I'll go to the cash back. Uh, I think I had done five percent right for the card. Uh, and 2% for the portal. Okay, sorry, I have to change the format here to percentage. All right, I just worked on this, but I'll make sure it's perfect for you. Uh, I'll make sure it's perfect for you guys. And okay, so it calculates the cash back, total cash back with the 73 cents, adds it all up over here, it gives you the total profit, total margin. All right, okay, so that's how this works so the thing is you wouldn't use this until you're actually ready to list okay so if you're going to actually list the product then I would say use this but again if you're using repricing software then you can just fill out the first section uh, just to have the product info and then I would I wouldn't worry about the rest of this because the rest of this has to do with repricing okay so I mean you don't really um, but for someone if you're doing completely manual drop shipping 100 percent manual I think this would be great for you uh, to be able to go back and reprice your products okay instantaneously by having all this information in here and just changing the price when it changes okay so that's basically the process of product research um, on eBay okay uh, reverse engineering from eBay back to um, to a supplier um, and again uh, following these steps which I'll share with you as well um, you know calculating the profit okay that's the, the other thing alright and then of course keeping a list of it and then if you want to actually list the products using the spreadsheet so I hope you found this video helpful um, I'll definitely have links in the description of this video um, especially uh, a link for you to access um, some of the resources that were here alright such as this calculator okay um, notes and other things like that so um, definitely check out the links okay you can subscribe um, of course to the channel but also subscribe to my email list which where where you will be kept updated okay and you will need to do that to get the resources but then you'll also be kept updated when I come out with a new resource okay or a new system um, you'll definitely be made aware of it so uh, yeah definitely check out the links um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was useful to you feel free to please share any comments any suggestions uh, I would love to start a discussion in the comments uh, about anything uh, concerning your thoughts on eBay dropshipping uh, product research and these Excel sheets thanks for watching this is Mr. Mark take care and I'll see you in the next video